Hi, it's John from Reedy's here in Blackburn with Richard and we're going to have a look at the new PRS SE 2017 range. Now there's been a few changes within it. The models that we're going to have a look at today, we've got the 277 which is the baritone, that's one of my favourite guitars. It's a load of fun, you've got 27.7 inch scale, you get a really dirty sound out of it, you can clean it up as well and get like a really bluesy or, or funk kind of sound out of it. We're going to have a look at the Custom 24, uh, we're going to have a look at the Santana and we're going to have a look at the Tremonti as well. Now there's been a few changes on the new 2017 range. They've gone, one of the nice changes is, is really just an aesthetic thing but if you look at the headstock on it they've put the script logo on it so it's the same as you get on a core line, it's the same as you get on a private stock. It really just brings it within line, it, it, it looks really nice. Um, they've upgraded some of the pickups as well. The Santana has 24 frets, like the American version. Um, so just a few nice, nice things. Now the SE range, I don't know if you guys have played it. They are a really good entry level into PRS. You get all the qualities that you get within the core line range and the uh, private stock ranges but it's just a bit more of an affordable price range. So if you're looking for a second guitar, maybe a backup for a gig, or if you just want to get your first PRS guitar, it's a really nice thing to have a look at. Um, but yeah, we'll have a, a quick thing. You've had a bit of a play with them as well, Richard, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, I've had a play with uh, all four of these, and I mean, this one I can't seem to put down. It's absolutely incredible. Well, with it being a longer scale, and normally if you've got a low B, it's probably because you've got a seven string, which if you're used to playing six strings, it can feel a bit odd at times. You're not used to it. So having the six string with a low B is really, really good. And you know, you've the strings are a really nice tension as well because of the longer scale. It's uh, yeah, it makes quite a, di a difference. A Sometimes with a seven string, it gets a little bit sloppy on that B. And that yeah, kind of thing. it can do. Yeah, yeah. And also, what I really like about these new SEs with the Tremonti and the Santana especially, uh, they actually had a lot of input in making them. So Tremonti went into PRS and same with Santana. They actually went in and had a lot of involvement with the actual creation of these guitars. That's pretty cool. Is, so it's not just, oh, we'll try and recreate. Yeah, the they've US actually gone in. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm.
so we'll take a look at the the Custom 24, which is their, you know, it's their Les Paul standard, it's their American standard strat. It is what sums up PRS, you know, there's lots of other variations, but that's kind of the one where you'd start, yeah. it's, 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 it's their model. Um, now, this year, well, in fact, if we go back to last year, last year on the core line, which was, was the 30th anniversary, PRS brought out some pickups called 8515s. Now, they were hand-wound pickups. They were incredible. You could get so much out of them. You know, you listen to them, and if you want to play third-wave Travis picking, you know, you can sound like Chet Atkins, or you can sound really dirty on it. If you put a load of gain on it, you can get this incredible, like, Tremonti kind of sound. Yeah, or all they that kind of handle thing. a lot of gain really well. That's yeah. why I was not as well. Really good. They're, they're such beautiful pickups. You know, you can get so much out of them, and they'll let you play how you want to mm. play. Now, on the 2017 Custom 24s, they've actually designed a Korean version of these, so they've not just gone, oh, we're going to stick some generic pickups in. They've worked really hard at getting them to recreate that kind of sound. And they get a lot of the way there. You know, they, they you can get a lot of dirt out of it, you can mm. get a lot of clean, you can get a nice jazzy tone, a funk tone out of it. It's just a nice thing to see at the guitar this price. If you've got, you know, like I said before, your Custom 24 core line and you don't want to take it to this gig or you're going to play in a different tuning and you want to stick that there, it's a good replacement, you know, you can bring this out for a couple of songs and not, not think, oh, I wish yeah. I, was, I was playing the other one. It, it, it's a nice thing. So I'll have a bit of a listen to that and see what you think of those. But just that, and again, going back to this on the, the headstock, you know, having the signature there, it goes a long way to, to making it look like a core line. Yeah, definitely. And it's, you know, you put this next to an S2 or a core line yeah, and yeah. it's it fits in a lot better now. And now they have modeled these pickups on it, the 8515S, they're calling it. quite a bit of gain on there there's still note separation and it's pretty pretty clear and it's defined it's nice you're hearing all the notes in the chord yeah. aren't you? you're not just hearing that one chord you are getting the separation mm. like you said yeah no i like it well let's let's have a listen and, and let's see you play it guitar we're going to look at is the the new Santana um, so they've done a few different bits on it the first thing I'd like to say if you read the blurb on it when you play this when you read it it says when you play it you're gonna sound like the man himself mm. I've got to be honest I played it <laughs> it didn't it did not sound like Carlos Santana that, no, that's I can assure you that probably more indicative of me than the guitar <laughs> so I, I apologize I may have ruined the marketing for you um, but it is really cool, and when, when Richard played it, you know, you got a, a great kind of Santana tone out of it. Now, they've brought this again more in line with the, the core line, mm. um, so we've got 24 frets on it, which is, you know, important. It changes where the harmonic note mm. is. 
it sounds it sounds right. But the other thing that I like is we've changed, or we changed, PRS have changed the pickup controls on it. So before they were quite wide apart, you know, they brought them all a little bit closer in together. So the volume and tone, nice and accessible when you're playing. It's nice and easy to change it yeah. all together rather than messing about with it. So I think it's a really nice change. It's not going to change your world, you know, if you've, you've got the other one, maybe it's not the reason to go out and buy the guitar, but if you've been holding off or looking at the, the, the Santana, the SE this year is is really, really good. Um, you've had a, a chance to have a good play on it as well. Mm. You've played the call line as well, you know, we've got one outside. What, yeah. what do you think? Um, I mean, obviously it's not as defined a sound as the call line, but you wouldn't expect it to be. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, the feel of it is so good and it's so impressive for the price of it as well. It yeah. doesn't feel like a kind of entry level instrument or anything like that. It's it's a really well made guitar, really well made. Yeah. It sounds good as well. Yeah. to say after that. Um, so this is the the new SE 2017 Tremonti. Really popular model. Um, just aggressive. There's, there's nothing else to say about it. <laughs> it's not subtle. No. Um, based on Tremonti's signature guitar, um, basically he took a PRS, he's, he's been with PRS for quite a while, um, and he just needed more out of it, out of the pickups, you know, he, he needed more aggression out of it, but more tone as well. Um, you know, usually when you go to high output pickups, you lose a lot of tone and, and that kind of thing, but in the Tremonti, he's kept them. Now, the new SE, the 2017, 
there's not been massive amounts of change. It's, it's really within the pickups. So they've, they've again, in the vein of the 8515s and that kind of thing, they brought out the, the Tremonti S's. So they give you that capacity to push the amp more you know mm. to get that that drive out of it that that Tremonti gets gets but keep tone there you're not disappearing you know you're not going really really like thin with the chords and that kind of thing you can get big chords coming out with a lot of aggression yeah and especially because he uses a lot of chord extensions as well so he needs all the notes to ring out even when he is using a load again yeah. and it does it obviously it doesn't do it as well as the chord line does but you wouldn't expect that. That's that's why they made these models. I would hope so. Otherwise, yeah, the whole exactly. shot kind of <laughs> falls apart. Um, but as, as again, coming back to like a second guitar, if you're looking for something, you know, within that kind of price range, that's going to give you, you know, that 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 ability, that note separation to to play all that and keep tone mm. within aggression. It, it's an incredible guitar. You know, we we sold loads of the last one, and I'm, we're going to sell loads of yeah, the new one. You know, it, it sounds really yeah. good. And they look good as well, really nice. Yeah, they And do. the single cut is useful for getting those nice, yeah. really high bends. Definitely. Well, let's have a listen to what it sounds like, um, and, and again, we'll see what you think.